Each year, we recognize a distinguished alumnus, someone who once sat where you are sitting and whose life exemplifies the qualities that Harper College represents, a passion for excellence, an inquiring mind, an abiding curiosity, and a commitment to service. Even though we are a relatively young institution, we have so many remarkable graduates from which to choose. As a result, the list is long and the selection process difficult. Shari Lawrence Flieger graduated from Harper College in 1970 with a degree in mathematics. Grounded in multidisciplinary thinking, her career in mathematics, software engineering, and cybersecurity is known for its breadth and innova innovation. Dr. Flieger is an entrepreneur, professor, principal scientist, and most recently research director of a consortium of universities and national laboratories doing cybersecurity research. Reflecting her longtime commitment to social responsibility, the royalties from her 15 textbooks have funded the Community Involvement Scholarship at Harper College for almost 20 years. I'd like to ask Dr. Flieger to come to the podium. Many thanks for asking me to come here today to talk about how Harper College has affected my life and my career. I'll respond to that request in two ways, with an explanation and a challenge. First, the explanation. When I entered Harper, like many of you, one of my biggest problems was narrowing down which courses I wanted to take. There were too many wonderful options and not enough time. As Jack Kerouac said in On the Road, there was nowhere to go but everywhere. So I decided to, to, to take what was most interesting to me and what could inform my life's choices. As you know, college is a time for exploring who you are and who you want to become. And that's just what I did. So by graduation, I had taken almost as many courses in French and philosophy as I took in mathematics. I left Harper for a PhD program intending to be a university mathematics professor. But T.S. Eliot knew what I eventually realized. He says in the fourth quartet, to make an end is to make a beginning. The end is where we start from. So my initial step toward mathematics was part of a more complicated and exciting and rewarding journey. I studied graph theory and Ramsey numbers. Theoretical work that even now is finding important applications in cybersecurity. Who knew that my first paper, published in 1974, would still be cited and applied to important problems? Then I turned to applied math, doing computer simulations to support land use planning decisions. I left grad school during a serious recession, and I took a programming job to make ends meet. That led to an applied research group, important software development work, and eventually research in software engineering. The software measurement program that I founded at a $3 billion telecommunications company was named one of the best in the country. By the time I became a principal scientist at the RAND Corporation and the research director of a national consortium of universities and national labs, my work was in forming national and international research and policy. Along the way, I wrote textbooks, became associate editor-in-chief of IEEE Software, and am now editor-in-chief of IEEE Security and Privacy Magazine. Now I'm leading groundbreaking work applying behavioral science techniques to important cybersecurity problems. Now, how could I do that? What is it about taking analysis, algebra, and theory of complex variables that leads to being on an Institute of Medicine committee looking at the safety of medical devices? The answer, because I'm a Harper College graduate. This college, yes, yes. This college has a founding vision from breadth through depth to perspective. 
I'm no ordinary mathematics major. I'm a Harper College graduate. My education here has drawn me from breadth through depth to perspective. I not only know my mathematics, I can write about it, teach it to someone, and apply it to important world problems. Because I'm a Harper College graduate, I understand a problem in its historical context. I know a solution's power and its limitations. And because I'm a Harper College graduate, when I reach my own limitations, I know how to push and stretch myself to address those very limitations as new problems to be solved. So I am delighted to be here to be able to have you join with me in saying for the very first time, say it with me, I am a Harper College graduate. Say it. I am a Harper College graduate. <laughs> Terrific. I applaud you. Now, here comes the challenge. In my spare time, I've tried to address society's inequities. Like many of you, I was a first-time college attender in my family. My parents were children of immigrants, my father was an auto mechanic, my mother was a secretary and then a stay-at-home mom. I attended Harper College thanks to a Harper College scholarship, a Regent scholarship, a Harper Foundation scholarship, part-time work in the math department, and I tutored high school students. After graduation with some of my Harper friends, we founded a tutoring program in Washington, D.C. And my husband and I continue to devote significant portions of our personal time to making opportunities for kids who would otherwise have none. And in fact, you heard about our community involvement scholarship. Some of you graduating today were recipients of that scholarship. So what's the challenge here? You're all math and science majors, so you know what an inflection point is. 50 years ago, this country experienced an important inflection point. And no, it wasn't the Beatles' arrival in America. 50 years ago, Lyndon Johnson initiated his Great Society programs that built much of the social safety nut in this country. But over the last 50 years, that net has frayed, and it's time for another inflection point. Where I live in Washington, D.C., the median income of the top 5% of wage earners is 54 times that of the bottom 5%. That means that a couple in the top, the, working full-time in, the in the bottom 5% is still in poverty. Half of the affordable housing stock in Washington has disappeared over the last 10 years. And the number of people who needed, the number of homeless who needed shelter this winter was 135% more than the winter before. The stories are similar in other parts of the country. Here we are in the richest country in the world, and there are cities that hesitate to close schools during a significant snowstorm because they know that if they close the schools, many children won't eat that day. Most of them get their food from free and reduced price breakfasts and lunches. So it's time for another inflection point. It's time for creative thinking, the kind of thinking that you can do as Harper College graduates. As you leave here today to make your way in the world, I challenge you to go from breadth to depth to perspective. Put what you do in perspective and work on creating an inflection point that addresses some aspect of this terrible gap in earnings and in opportunity. The press is full of pundits with simplistic answers. But as Harper College graduates, you can move beyond platitudes and pap, beyond dinner conversation, to national policy debate and action. Find that inflection point. Make it happen. Do it in your professional lives and do it in your personal lives. And if someone says to you that you're a dreamer, that it can't be done, 
You tell them that you know it can be done because you're Harper College graduates. Congratulations.